Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I've done a makeup first impressions review and today I have Milk Makeup's um, full face for you. Now Milk Makeup have just launched in the UK. You can get them via Cult Beauty. This is an amazing American brand that has come over the pond and there's lots of hype around this. So we're going to be testing some products out, showing you this very natural like dewy look. Um, but there's some winners in here which you just have to try like I am obsessed with if you're new to my channel please subscribe I would love it for you to join my little family here um, and if you're not following me on Instagram head over there because that's where you get all the behind the scenes action so um, without further ado let's get straight in to I don't know why I'm doing all of this I'm like in vogue um, <laughs> If you want to see how I achieve this natural glowy look, then keep watching. So guys, don't be afraid of my bare face. I'm actually having a bit of a breakout right now. But I've been really excited to try milk makeup. Um, some of my friends have already tried some and they've told me so much about them. Um, they actually went to LA and got them. So they did a little pop-up in Covent Garden and I went down. Um, I got myself colour match because I was really interested in trying the foundations and I've got the foundation and concealer here to test. Um, so let me know if any of you guys managed to get down to their pop-up in Covent Garden because I just feel like it was such a great opportunity to test, swatch, have a play around. It was so much fun. I don't know that much about milk so I'm just going to read you off what it says on their website. It says, at Milk Makeup we believe you should have good ingredients plus epic payoff which is key because compromise is cool but not in your beauty routine. Our super nourishing formulas provide you with everything from a dreamy complexion um, to ver versatile finishes. Love a glow? Yes. So this look is going to be very glowy I think. So yeah and they're like vegan, cruelty free, paraben free, really good key makeup. I believe they're also in competition with um, Glossier apparently there's a little bit of rivalry there um, but let's get stuck in I haven't done one of these videos in such a long time so please bear with me um, so first up I am trying watermelon brightening serum how cool is this packaging this is like brand new this is really cool um, I love the fact that this is brightening because I've got some like pigmentation from um, old spots. I'm actually, because no one else is going to be using this, I'm actually going to apply this directly onto the skin. First impressions it is it feels very nourishing. It feels kind of cooling as well. Um, I'm just going to rub this all the way around. I feel like with this you can kind of like buff it into your skin and you don't really need to, it like it sits in really well. I feel like I don't really need to use my hands. Um, and what's great about this is that it is a stick formula. So if you're traveling, this is a great one to take with you, especially if you've got only hand luggage. It's like perfect to take through customs. So that's really good. That feels really nice. I don't know if you can like, I don't know. I feel like it's matted my face in some areas, but then it's given me that really nice sheen in others, which I really like. Um, so I feel like it maybe like adapts to your to like your skin. It's really cool. Um, it does feel very fresh, very nice. And, oh, I didn't check the smell. It doesn't smell like watermelons, but I don't think this has any kind of fragrances or any of the nasty stuff. So that is the serum. I actually don't have um, a moisturizer, and I really like to moisturize my skin. I'm just gonna pop my hair out the way. Um, so I'm just going to use this because we're going to go for a very glowy look. So I'm using the Elemis Total Glow Bronzing um, Moisturiser and I really like this one. Um, it kind of builds up a nice gradual tan throughout the day. Which is nice. I never tan my face so having kind of like a tinted moisturiser or anything like that is really key. I actually tried this in the pop-up. It is their um, blur stick and 
although we're going for a quite dewy look I do have quite um, defined pores on my face so having a blur stick is just great to kind of even everything out I'm just going to do it on one side actually and we're going to see the difference I usually get greasy here um, and around my nose a bit just a little bit here but I still want that sheen on my forehead that kind of touch the high points but can you see like that's kind of glowy dewy and that's the blur stick very matte feels really nice on the skin but their foundations actually come in a tube so if you are a makeup artist then this is quite easy for you to um, try like to take with you on set this is their matte foundation and I have shade Golden Sand. So I've got, I don't have a tan currently, so this is a little bit darker. My face never tans. Is their Makeup Blur Liquid Foundation, but it's still a matte kind of formula. So I'm really excited to try this. I'm actually, I've switched up things. I'm not using a beauty blender at the moment. I'm currently using, going back to brushes, and Real Techniques are one of my all-time favorite brushes. And this is their Expert Face Brush. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand. And let's see, I did try this out, and the makeup artist said a little bit goes a long way. So, oh, I love the coverage. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is amazing. And it goes on so well with a brush. Just gonna do half my face so you guys can see the difference. If you have um, skin like mine, like no one, I feel like it's really, if you haven't got perfect skin, really hard to find a foundation that still looks like your skin um, oh my gosh that's only like a little bit that I've used and it's like more than covered my face I could probably do the other side this is me I like to really buff it in wow and just a little bit on my neck just bring it down I'm so I'm really loving the results. This is so good. This is definitely, it still feels really natural. So even if you want like that no makeup makeup face, no makeup makeup face, um, this is still really good on for you. But if you are like me and you have those blemishes and you really want to cover them up, this is amazing. Like I'm so impressed with this. so impressed that it's gone on so well um it doesn't feel heavy doesn't feel cakey but i feel like my skin is like it looks like skin but it's covered absolutely everything which is everything that i want in a foundation it's yeah gosh i'm like it's so good right now going on with their concealer this is the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer. I have it in shade medium. I do think this is going to be a bit too dark. I don't know why. I've got a medium. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's literally like the same colour as my skin. So you can't really highlight and contour with this. Um, I... I don't know why I didn't get it there. This is great to cover spots for sure. Like I have one here. And there. I do have another one here. I am using it straight out of this because this is it's only gonna be used on me and then I clean this as well. So for all the, like the makeup people out there screaming like no I'm not a pro makeup artist this is not going on anyone's face apart from mine um so I've just coloured in those areas there uh, I might just do my eyelids as well there we go 
Um, before I blend that in, I'm gonna go in with their matte bronzer. It comes in this stick formula. I love all these stick formulas, honestly. Um, and I don't know whether, I think it's too big to, um, might just have it to the curve like this. It's like now, I just dab, dab, dab. Contours come like a necessity in my makeup routine. I actually thought this was a big surface area and it's going to be a bit too much for my face, but I'm actually either using it at a tilt, which I'm going to do for my nose. And you can see it's actually done a pretty good line. I'm actually going to use the same foundation brush and what I'm going to do here is do my concealer first. But yeah, I would have liked a lighter um, concealer. Medium is my skin tone. I needed fair, like really, really light. But it's good to cover like blemishes and stuff like that. Um, and then I'm just going to like buff it upwards. So that went on really well. I love the consistency of all of these. A subtle contour, which looks really natural, which I love. Um, I have to say, it, does, it hasn't felt like, the foundation felt like I had nothing on my skin. Now that I have the highlighter and bronzer, I am conscious that I know it hasn't really sunk in. It still feels a bit wet, but I do have the translucent powder to set. But before I do that, I'm just gonna go in with um, this lip and cheek tint and I've got shade perk it's this beautiful like coral color is stunning um, hmm. I'm actually gonna use my hand for my cheeks but I'm gonna warm it up on my lips first And I'm doing dabbing motions just because I don't want anything to move. I'm also going to use some of my eyes. I would probably, if you're quite fair, this is great. Um, I like it, don't get me wrong. This is like a very natural everyday, and if you're an everyday kind of girl, this is perfect for you. For me, I would probably, for my skin tone, need a bit more color. I'm gonna go now go on to these two products, and it is part of their Kush range. Now, there was a lot of hype of this because it's got CBD properties. Like, it's basically got cannabis in that, in here. And it's got, I mean, CBD has got so many health benefits and it's really coming through now in the whole beauty world. So, I've got them mascara here. But I'm going to quickly, you know what, let's do mascara first, actually. Um, it has a really good firm grip. It has a very good head on it. Yeah, they had a whole separate section for this, so I feel like this is definitely um, something that they are focusing on. You know what? I'm going to have to set my eye. I hate that kind of, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of separated. And I hate that. It drives me absolutely mental. Okay, so I just setted that with a blusher, basically. Um, similar colour, um, just so I don't get that crease in my eye. And now I feel like I can go into my mascara at ease. So 
so far this is a winner like really love this it actually has particles I remember the woman saying it has particles in this mascara kind of in a heart shape so it kind of really cushions and curls your lashes um, so yeah but I mean the results speak for itself really really good I haven't done my bottom lashes yet because I'm gonna set my under eye um, but I'm gonna quickly just do my brows this is part from the same range this Kush brow and this has fibers in it what I usually do with a brow gel I always like to go in reverse like this really get in and then I go back I mean that whole kind of fluffy brows in right now, but you see the difference. Really cool. I'm just, there's actually enough product in here to do both brows. I'm particularly sparse at the front, so usually I will pay extra care at the front of the brow. So now I've got the translucent powder from Milk. Um, comes with a little cushion like so. Um, you open it up actually like that. <laughs> and then inside it says blur, set, go. And then it's like this. I don't think I'm gonna use this. I'm actually gonna use a brush like this just to, because I really wanna get it under the eye like really precisely and then just push it down the nose back on the chin now that my under eyes are set I'm just going to quickly go in and do my bottom lashes like to give my top lashes a bit of a coat another coat but now I've done my lower lashes now I'm gonna go in with my favorite bit the, the highlights the milk illuminating highlighter looks really cool now for this I suggest using your hands so I'm just gonna warm back of my hand I feel like with all cream you really have to work with them and then Very natural it's just like lit from within it is that kind of glow that you just want you some on my cupid's bow then I might just oop, just gonna go back with this for my lips there we have it a very dewy natural glow uh, foundation highly recommend getting it it is really good i feel like if i had to pick oh i don't know if i could pick three, three things but foundation highly recommend the blur stick i highly recommend oh the serum i highly recommend the highlighter the mascara the brows i feel like the only iffy thing is with this you really have to kind of match it to your skin tone i just look so fresh actually which is new for me. I mean, not always usually caked in makeup, but because of my bad skin, I feel like I can never achieve this kind of makeup. So that is it, guys. That is my very natural, dewy, sleek look. I am obsessed. It is new for me, but I love it. It is very clean, very fresh. Um, and yeah, let me know what you guys think below and let me know what products I should be trying from Milk. Leave them down below and let's get chatting because I love to get makeup tips and sometimes it's like I get them from you guys. So share them with me, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Mm -hmm. Mwah.